and welcome. I'm Reverend Allie Bierman, and I'm so glad that you joined me here today for our gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. What's a metaphysical ministry? Well, what if I told you that the space between you and me, or between your computer and you, isn't really empty? Well, that's a fact. You see, with your five senses, you can only experience actually less than 1% of the reality that exists in the world. Metaphysics is the philosophy of quantum physics, going beyond what all the scientists are proving about how the world works, how your thoughts create what happens and totally impact things. So that's what we do here. We're investigating spirituality. We're investigating how the world works, that we're all energy, that we're all one, that we're all connected. I'm very glad that you came by today. We begin every week with a happy share. Why a happy share? Because the only way that you can get in the habit of being and feeling good and being happy all the time is by looking for things in your life every day that leave you feeling happy, calm, peaceful, in fact, I started the Happy Share Movement, which you can join over at the happysharemovement.com with the whole reason that you know it when you share something that left you feeling happy. Your body doesn't know that you're imagining reliving it, and therefore you're releasing all the same wonderful feel-good chemicals that happened originally. So you get to experience the happy all over again. And if you come by every day for 28 days, you will have created the habit. Now, when you're looking for things that leave you feeling happy and good, you always find them. They're there every day. But you're so conditioned to looking for what's negative, what's wrong, and what's missing, you're not seeing it. So my happy share today, let's see, there are always so many things. Well, after a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of work, I finally got my store up online. I have so many products that I've been making the last few years. They were like all over the place on all my different drives and trying to find them. Let's just say it took me a very long time to locate everything so I could put it into my store. Now, I didn't get everything yet. But I'm pretty darn excited because finally, everything that I have for you that can help you to change your life, it's all in one place, all in one page. It's all in the store. So, that definitely left me feeling happy. What's your happy share? If you scroll on down, let me, don't scroll on down. If you look down below, you will see a comment area. And if you let us know your happy share in there, and if you also start the habit of going to the happysharemovement.com, you will get to feel happy. And when the universe sees that you're noticing the things that leave you feeling happy, guess what? It's going to bring you even more and more and more, and your life is going to get better and better, and your frequency is going to rise. And when you're happy, that's when life works. It's not that you do things or become someone and then you're happy. You gotta be happy first. You gotta get your frequency up here because that's where everything that you want exists. This is a week when I get to be menstrual minister and I was on a webinar yesterday with Greg Braden who's fantastic at taking science and spirituality and putting it together. And I wanted to introduce you if you don't know yet what it's all about, his project, that we can change the world, that we can save humanity, because I'm sure you've heard what's going on with 2012. So here's my song to take us into that area. Who are you, what did you come here to do peace? Who are you, what did you come here to do love? Who are you, what did you come here to do joy? Who are you? What did you come here to do? Share. Who are you? What did you come here to do? Receive. Who are you? What did you come here to do? Give. Who are you? What did you come here to do? Cooperate. Who are you? What did you come here to do? Share. Who are you? How many of those actions describe you? Who are you and what did you come here to do? Chances are, 
chances are pretty good, in fact, that if you're on this side at this time, that you're one of people known as light beings who came to Earth at this time because in the history of mankind, it has never happened that we're ending a period, a cycle. It's a sun cycle. It's the whole thing with the Mayan calendar that you've heard about. And it doesn't have to be something bad if, if we move into the new energy that's all about cooperation. It's all about love and peace. Do you know the energy coming from your heart, without your even trying to do it, is expanding about 12 feet beyond you, whereas what comes out of your brain is limited to about four. So your powerhouse is right here in your heart. So what Greg Braden's done is he's created this movement, and he has people all over the world doing this, where people meditate together, but it's a meditation that grew out of heart math, coming from your heart and really feeling the love and the peace. Now, as a specialized kinesiologist, I show people all the time how what you're thinking and what you're feeling is impacting everybody. Not just the people right near you, but everybody everywhere. And it doesn't take every person on the planet living from the space of heart and projecting it to make the change. It takes, don't quote me on this, I think it's something like the square root of 1% of our population, which is now 7 billion people. So what he did in this website is he has a little care room. And the site, I'll put it down there. It's G. L coherence and what it's all about is you go there at certain times people meditate as a group so this very powerful energy is going out and it's changing people's lives you see war cannot happen if people live in cooperation bad feelings and anger aren't going to happen when people live in love the only way that a war can happen is an absence of love. It's a disconnect from self. It's a disconnect from others. It's a disconnect from a higher power. So going over to the site, if you choose, go into the care room. You can participate. There are people all around the globe. Explore the site. And on the subject of people meditating, feeling the love together, some years ago, back in Washington, D.C., which was at that time the murder capital of the world, about 400, I think it was, meditators who do transcendental meditation came into the city to meditate together with the intention of lowering crime. And at the time, the police chief of Washington, D.C. remarked that, yeah, it will take something like 12 feet of snow to lower crime in Washington, D.C. Well, they meditated for this period of time and guess what happened? The crime rate did indeed fall, made that police chief a believer. So if you can do it on a small scale, like one city in the U.S., imagine people all around the globe meditating together, coming from the heart with the love energy. Not only will you feel good when you do it, but you will also feel you're a part of that movement. And it's the way to change the world. It's really the only hope for humanity. Because otherwise, if you look back at the history of what happens every 5,126 years, there's mass destruction. Think the flood. It can be changed by the energy of people, which impacts the earth, which can stop the violent weather. And the sun will be creating the same pattern that it always has. So yes, there's a global warning, but you know what? It will reverse. So we have to live and work all together, or that's the end of people. And civilization will have to begin anew. What are you doing as your part? You're here today for a reason. It's no accident. So again, going over to GL Coherence, if you look up over on the left, you'll see the care room. Take a look. If it feels right to participate, pass it on to people you know. If you're on our website and you look up there, you'll see a page called Hold a Space For. Holding a space for means somebody asks for something that they want to make real in their life. 
It could be a different home, a different job. Maybe they want to gain their health. I don't know what it is. Maybe you want to travel, find a new relationship. Whatever it is, if there's something that you want in your life, of course you can ask for it yourself. And your message goes out to the universe. But what if a whole bunch of people are holding the space, seeing you, realizing that reality for you? That's what hold the space is for. So you scroll down, leave your name, tell us what it is you want us to hold the space for. I will put it up there on the Hold the Space page. Come back at least once a week. Read every name on there and read what the person wants us to hold a space for. Something's been going weird on the website where sometimes you just have to read down the comment area. They used to all be on the page and somehow they shifted. But the fact is, they're all there. So tell your family, tell your friends, tell everyone you know because when you put it out, it's a small for thought form. But when more people put it out, that thought form gets bigger and bigger and bigger and the universe recognizes it and gives it to you sooner. If it's in your highest and best interest. Thanks again for coming by today. Please scroll down there and click the like button. Down there and click share. Share it with those who you care about in the world, especially the information about GL coherence because this affects every person and everything on the planet. If you haven't already done so, head over there, you put in your name and email, you can pick up your copy of how to take your first steps on your spiritual path. I thank you again for being here. I will see you next week. In the meantime, 